All right, Steve, thank you. Well, it's time to start thinking about bringing those summer plants inside for winter. Winter is approaching. Derek's here to remind us about that. Joining us now with tips on lawn, lawn and garden and our lawns and gardens, most uh, notably, Derek Thomas from Thomas Landscapes, our gardening expert. Hi. How are you? First, I'd like to thank you for bringing all of these plants in here. We could open up our own, like, plant we, shop. We could have a plant shop. We really could. All right, so you're helping us make the transition. We're talking about bringing them indoors because a lot of people take their tropicals outside mm -hmm. during the the summer months and what happens is you get insects that will in invariably like to set up house in your plants. Right. What you want to do, first of all, let's talk about fertilizing because it's really important to build the root structure before you bring them in. This is a great idea. Look it's that. a it's a single serving fertilizer. Mm -hmm. You add it to two gallons of water perfectly so you don't it takes all the guesswork out of it right. so it takes that we're done with the fertilizing when you can do a top dressing of compost or something like that the plants are going to like that mm -hmm. okay but what you want to make sure is that with plants like this one this is a very old clivia and this will flower each year but what has happened is we've also got a spider that has decided that it likes see, Derek, where is they? Right in there. Okay. We've got a spider that's okay. decided that it likes to be in there too. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is you want to use a sponge with some soapy water to clean that leaf off. You want to remove any additional debris that may be on the leaves. Mm -hmm. And with broad leaves like this, or like the banana plant, you were asking me about the my, banana because plant. Because my question was, this is such a tropical plant. Scotty, over to your right a little bit. And bringing it indoors, how do you make that transition? You can absolutely bring that indoors. You want to put it in front of a very bright window. Okay. And you want to make sure that when you do bring it indoors, one of the things that you want to check for, because where the pests tend to, and this is a bird of paradise which is also a really tropical one mm -hmm. the pests tend to congregate on the underside of the leaves once again with a really good soapy solution we're cleaning the underside of the leaves and that's going to go a long way to prevent that pest infestation okay. now one of the other things that I like to do with my smaller plants and if you've got a bigger plant you can do this once you've cleared away the debris and things like that mm -hmm. you've cleaned all of the foliage the other place that pests tend to like is inside the container. Okay. And what I will do is, once again, a very, I use Dawn, but you can use any diluted liquid hand soap mm -hmm. for, you know, dishwashing soap. And I will actually submerse the entire container for 24 hours in the solution. The soap is not going to harm the plant's roots, but what that's going to do is it becomes an inhospitable environment for the insects, mm -hmm. and therefore when you take it indoors, you're not having any stragglers come with you. I must say that's clever and ingenious. You're like a mad scientist gardener right now. <laughs> I love that. Um, and we, you talked about it briefly too, but again, remove the old leaves and debris. Yeah, get away that old leaves and debris. Anything that can be an insect house, Okay. you know, get rid of that and, and make sure that you've cleaned it up. And with your front Fertilizer, you say it's important to use a slow release fertilizer. A slow release fertilizer, with the reason for that is you want a slow release, low nitrogen fertilizer. You don't want a whole lot of leaf growth because the plants are going to have to acclimate to the less, okay. you know, you've, you've got less light indoors and they've had kind of a nirvana outdoors. So you want to make sure, you know, and one of the things you don't want to do when you're making that transition is over water okay. for the next couple of weeks. And the last tip, add a top dress of compost, and you can find all Derek's tips on our website, myfoxdc.com. And we're also going to link that to Thomas Landscapes because we just adore you. Thank you. All right, uh, Steve, back to you.